Are you struggling to find space for your plants? In this video, I'm going to show you seven different trellis ideas that allow you to grow vertically in small spaces. Welcome to Healthy Fresh Homegrown, the channel for families wanting a thriving, healthier lifestyle by growing food at home. I'm Mark, a published author of two gardening books and over 15 years of experience growing food for my family. And I'm here to help you put healthy, fresh, homegrown food on your family's table too. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing below for more videos. So I'm going to start off with uh, this trellis right here. Now, unfortunately, you can't see most of the trellis because this amazing uh, few squash plants has literally taken over it. But if I part them a little bit, you'll see that there is an A-frame trellis here. And I'll show you a picture now of how it looked like before the squash took over. As you can see, this is made from two crib sides that have been screwed together at the very top with these hinges here. And the reason why I made it from these crib sides is because we had our old crib from my daughter when she was a baby and we could not sell it or give it away because the crib had been recalled. So I decided to repurpose it in the garden, which is a great way to repurpose stuff that you might normally throw away. And the other great thing about this trellis is that the weight of the squash plants actually helps to hold it down so that it doesn't topple over. And then on this side, you can see we've got some cucumbers climbing up. Although again, really the squash plant has taken over this side as well. So, and you can actually see some of the squash on this side there and then you can see kind of because the side is not as filled up with plants that here are the rungs from the crib sides and this is great for the plants to actually climb up on but i didn't just stop with the crib sides i actually used the crib ends as well and these ones happen to be uh, for climbing up uh, peas what I did is I sharpened the bottom a little bit with um, just a handsaw just to make them a little bit pointy so that they go into the soil easier. And then I've also added some, uh, just some regular yarn. You could just as well use uh, garden twine. And what this will do is allow the um, peas to actually grab onto something, mainly because these styles here are vertical. So there's not really anything uh, that they can grab onto. They might be able to wrap around it, but um, peas generally uh, like to wrap around things that are actually horizontal, so this will help them. Another way to repurpose parts of the crib. And why just stop at the crib ends and sides? Well, I also use the bottom, and this is what the frame basically that the mattress was on and it's actually in my greenhouse, um, in my raised bed here. If you can see that. Right now there's tomatoes in it, but uh, in the early spring, I actually had peas climbing up this trellis, which I'll show you here in this photo. And all I did was I just pounded some rebar into the soil of the raised bed, and I actually tied, or actually I didn't even tie, and I just basically put the uh, frame behind it and the rebar just keeps it from tipping forward and the wall keeps it from going backwards. So another way to repurpose parts of the crib. So before I continue with the other four trellis ideas in this video, leave a comment down below and let me know what trellising ideas you've used or are planning to use in your garden. And if you have any really unique ideas, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks. 
So while we're still here in the greenhouse, I thought I'd show you one other trellis idea that I've actually made a separate video for, which you can find in the link up here. So tomatoes work well with a string trellis like this one here, where basically there's a string down below attached to the ground in some way, and then it's attached to a pole at the top. And so the taut string is where you just basically wrap the main stem of the tomato around and as you can see they're nice and vertical they're not falling down from the weight of the fruit and they've got lots of air circulation as well to guard against diseases and things doing this however outdoors requires that you need to have some kind of a frame installed over top of your plants so that you can actually attach the string at the top. And you can do that with a simple A-frame and then put a pole across it. So for beans, I find, especially the climbing type, uh, these happen to be Borlodi beans, a drying bean. These um, teepees actually work quite well. And so it's basically just three stakes, which you can't really see too well because of all the bean foliage. Uh, attached at the top with some kind of connection. These happen to be these rubber tips. Um, they work fairly well, although they have a tendency to get loose. You can use these on top to tie the three together if you've got the right size stakes, or you can even just wrap it with a piece of string like I've done here with uh, this bamboo uh, trellis that I've created. And sometimes you might have to help the peas kind of climb up and wrap around the trellis and they're fairly compact in just maybe a two foot by two foot area you can uh, grow a lot of beans. So before I show you the last two trellis ideas and hint this is one of them right here I wanted to remind you about Seed to Table. Seed to Table is a membership for families who are wanting to grow food at home. Get the in-depth knowledge and support that you need to have a thriving family food garden that fits into your busy lifestyle. Learn more by watching the Seed to Table tour here. So this trellis idea is a little bit unique because it uses these interesting metal grids um, that I got for free. Now I'm not sure where these grids actually come from. Someone was telling me that these might actually be from very old hospital beds, but I can't say for sure where these came from. But the good thing about them is with this grid, it allows plants such as these peas that I just planted maybe about a week or two ago to climb up and there's lots of attachment points. You can actually see some of the old pea tendrils that are still remaining from when I grew peas earlier this year. Now all I did was I hammered in some rebar on both ends and attached them with these uh, ties. And there's actually two sections, two halves basically, and they're attached with some uh, metal rods going down through both of them. So this is fairly sturdy and it's uh, a lot of space for growing a lot of peas in a very small spot. This is about maybe uh, six feet or so I think in length and about four feet high but as you can see there's only about maybe six inches or so. So this would be a great idea against a fence or perhaps a house wall or somewhere where you don't have much space but you still want to be able to grow some peas. Okay, so the final trellis I'm going to show you is one I actually built myself. And it's in my daughter's planter bed. And it's just on the wall of my greenhouse. You can see the greenhouse inside there. And basically all I did was I took some cedar strips that I had, some one by one cedar strips. I drilled some pilot holes. I screwed it together with some deck screws that I had laying around, some short ones, and essentially just built out a grid of these sticks. And then at the very bottom, I did put some screws in, which you can't see, 
that uh, screw into the sides of the planter so that this trellis is good and sturdy. Right now we just have my daughter's uh, sunflower plant. Still has a few sunflowers on it. We're using it to, we're using the trellis to ensure the sunflower doesn't break under the weight just with some, again, green yarn ties. And probably what we'll do is this weekend, we'll plant some peas at the very bottom behind these tomato plants. And that way the, she can have some peas growing up this trellis all the way up to the top of it. You can buy these, but they're usually held together with staples and don't last very long. As you can see, there's lots of unique ideas for trellises. And sometimes it's just a matter of looking around your house to see what you could repurpose and recycle for your garden. And for times when you do need to buy something for trellising, such as those rubber uh, toppers for the teepee trellis, then uh, I'll leave some links down below to uh, some products on Amazon that you can order online if you can't find them locally at your local nursery or garden center. And if you have any questions about trellising, be sure to comment down below and I'll answer them for you. Also check out this other video that I did on how to plant peas in a five gallon bucket where I show you how to actually make that bamboo teepee trellis that I showed you earlier in this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.